Hey guys, today I want to talk about two techniques that are based around freezing a lane as well as getting more experience than your enemy laner as well as how you dominate a solo lane not just if you're beating your enemy laner. So that's the biggest thing too. If you're wondering how to carry games, the, it starts out by if you are playing a solo laner, you can't just win your lane. You have to win your lane in a way that causes it to where your whole team wins. And that's what I'm going to show you. This is a Hero League game where in Masters, these are not players that don't know what they're doing. These are players that are going to try to get creative if you try to bully them. So what I do here um, is I tell my team, stay safe, I'm going to soak. What this means is they don't know how many people are staying here. They see four people, but I could be sitting back here. So I like to stay and hide up in a lane to begin with. And this is something you can do here and there um, in Hero League. It doesn't work very well in Team League because they're going to predict this. But this works really well in Hero League as minions are dying on both sides and the enemies aren't getting experience for them. Like he missed one minion from this. Now I'm going to get into the method of bullying your enemy laner as well as freezing the lane. So to start off, the enemy didn't expect me to be up here, so I'm able to get a good trade off on him to, to begin with. But what I do with this trade is how you dominate an experience gained in these games. So to start off, I want to explain Kael'thas' experience is the same as mine. He got a minion, a couple minions, died mid lane, and he came up here. He missed one minion up here, but we're about the same experience, right? So I start off by getting a good trade. I know what I need to do to beat Kael'thas in lane. So I just avoid the few things that do damage. And now what I do is I leave these minions up. The reason that I leave these minions up is because I want our lanes to be right here. And I want them to be frozen right here. And my reason for that is because now I can bully Kale Thos. If he tries to return, all I need to do is dodge his gravity lapse and his flame strike. And I can beat him in lane no matter what. So if I can keep the lanes over here, he's going to lose out on a lot of experience. So I simply hang out here. I'm still in range to get experience when these die, as we can see. But the lanes are going to be frozen over in this direction. Meaning if I see Kael'thas show up here, he's going to be losing experience. This is forcing Kael'thas to make a few decisions. One, just go to a different lane. That's one of his decisions. It works, but he's losing out on experience. Look at this for a second. I'm giving 450 experience. He's given 400. Watch how much this changes over the course of this little bit. Now, if I was to push this in, Kael'thas would watch. I start pushing it. He starts going up. I stop pushing it. Do you see what happens? He's watching me. He's a high-level player. He's watching what I'm doing. He knows he's going to lose in lane. But I'm playing it smart. He's playing it decently smart. He needs to figure out another way to get experience because if he goes the safe route, he's going to lose experience. So he needs to play a more aggressive route. So I tell my Muradin over voice comms that Kael'thas is likely going to try to sneak through here to soak experience. So if he can check this bush, Kael'thas will likely be in this bush. That's his only option to get any experience because I've frozen the lane so far in my direction that there's nothing Kael'thas can do to get any experience. Murden goes to check this area, Kael'thas shows up, tries to go around the other way, and we end up catching him. Um, but he gets away because he's on a mount. So I simply V-ping, tell the Murden to get away from him, and then I head back up here so I can get more soak. Now look at the experience gain now. I have 50% more experience gained than Kael'thas. I'm not only beating him in lane, because whenever he shows up, I win, but I'm zoning out all of his experience. That is how you freeze a lane, that's how you bully your, your opponent, and that's how you win not only your solo lane, but you also win by out-experiencing the enemies. And I can show you a little bit more. Now, there is a time when you want to reset the lane, and I'll show you that time in just a second. So what I mean by reset the lane is you can see as you're freezing the lane for a while, your minions are going to start piling up a lot into a bigger force than the enemies. So you want to reset the lane when, which uh, he actually helps me with this a little bit because um, he lowers the health of everything. Murden comes back up as Kael'thas is trying to get soak easily through that direction. So we end up walking up and with the help of Chromie, we get a kill on Kael'thas. I head back up here and now is the time where you really want to reset the lane. And what I mean by this is you want to go into a lane, you want to push it as hard as possible so that these minions go up to this tower and they get killed. So you can see I quickly go to push now that Kael'thas is dead and he can't soak this lane. I push the lane really quickly and I get all this experience over Kael'thas. And all these minions are going to die on the wall. 
So you can see, I've got 2,000 experience. Kael'thas has 926. I have more than double his experience by just bullying him out of lane and freezing the lane so he can't just hide behind a, a fountain the entire time. You see, if I would push the lane every time, he could just stay by this fountain, he could burn everything, and then, and then he'd be fine, he'd be up on the experience. But because I bullied him out of lane and I froze the lane, I got experience when he couldn't get experience. That is how you win when you're actually dominating someone in the solo lane. You don't push the lane, you freeze it, and you zone them away from the experience. It's something that happens a decent amount in, in these higher level games, and that is why he was playing correctly to try to avoid this from happening, but I still was gaining way more experience. You can see the experience lead that my team has gotten over the enemy team just by doing this. And that's how you do it. If you have any questions about that, just let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this style of video, feel free to subscribe.